Hey guys, Dr. Atkin here, and we're gonna start our conversation about the top things that you can be doing at home to get rid of back pain. And today's tip number one is ice. When your body has an injury, the way that it responds to that is by sending inflammation to the area, which is simply fluid that contains building blocks so that your body can start the process of regeneration and repair. However, that inflammation needs to be managed and it is very painful. It's like when you sprain your ankle and it blows up like a balloon. Well, that's very well what may have just happened in, in your back, be it your lower back, mid back, neck, doesn't matter where it is, the same concept applies and we need to help control and reduce that inflammation. Now, I know you've probably, you may have already tried different over-the-counter anti-inflammatories, aspirin, Advil, you know, I don't care, you know, do, do, do what you gotta do as far as that goes, but what's going to make a bigger difference to your pain and inflammation than anything else is ice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab an ice pack. Maybe you've already got a good one in the freezer. Grab a pack of frozen vegetables, throw some ice into a Ziploc bag, whatever you need to do, get some ice and you want to apply it directly. Now, put a paper towel you know, in between that and your neck. You don't wanna give yourself frostbite, but this needs to get deep and painfully cold. Those first five minutes should make you completely numb and make you want to take it off, but apply firm pressure. After five minutes, it'll kind of numb itself off and it won't be as bad. You're gonna keep that ice on for 20 minutes and you're gonna be doing that several times throughout the day. When I was doing it, I did it for 20 minutes at the top of every single hour. So I was icing for 20 minutes an hour just because I couldn't do anything else that day anyway, and that's what I did. Some people go 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, 20 minutes back on, and then take an hour break and do that every two hours. But either way, you, you almost can't overdo it as long as you're giving your body that 20 minute break in between. And then after that, you're gonna be doing some gentle range of motion exercises, but that's a video that I'm gonna share with you um, in the next couple of days. So ice, 20 minutes of deep, cold, painful ice several times throughout the day. Ice pushes inflammation away, heat draws inflammation towards you, so you don't wanna use heat, but tomorrow we're gonna to go into more details about exactly how to use heat. So looking forward to that tomorrow. Take this message, apply it, look at the PDF for additional instructions. We'll talk more tomorrow.